tayo na sinasabi ng Biblia. Umaangal na ang mga businessman. Ang dami-dami na ang holiday sa Pilipinas na nunugi na sila. E pa paano? Tapos na nga yung New Year ng January 1. Meron pang January 31, Chinese New Year. Ito na mo na yung New Year, ano ba namang klase yan? Anniversary ng religion, holiday. O halimbawa, anniversary ng Iglesia ni Cristo, holiday. Bakit? Mga Pilipino ba? Puro Iglesia ni Cristo ba yan? Bakit mo yan? Holiday. E di sila lang pag-holidayin mo, di ba? Tama ba yan? Kaya nga hindi pa pwede na ang Mindanao to become a Muslim nation. E kung kuha mo Muslim to be separated from the Philippines and become an independent nation. Hindi pa pwede. Kasi kung konti lang ang Muslim dun eh, di ba? You see? We have so many holidays in this nation. Anniversary of Iglesia de Cristo, all Filipinos will celebrate the anniversary of Iglesia de Cristo. You see? It's not good. You know, many politicians, many government officials wants to please those members of religions to gain their votes. You see? Eh, di siya na mag-celebrate ng anniversary nila, di ba? Oo. Oh. Bakit ititiklar ng holiday? Nagtapos yung fasting nila ng religion, holiday. Eh, tayo, hindi naman tayo fasting. O ba tayo mag-holiday? You see? It's not good. Tignan mo yung mga kalye natin. Di ba yung mga kalye natin, public places yan? Owned by Filipino people, di ba? Pero tignan mo yung mga nag-proposition. Uh, Ina ako pa yung lugar natin. O, mas nga kayo dyan. Ginaharangan yung daanan. Di na tuloy yung makauwi mga estudyante galing sa eskwela. Nalalaan na remoto nyo. Madagalan pa kayo niya. Kung gusto nyo magbukat ng remoto, doon na lang kayo sa lugar ninyo, hindi sa public places. Mga public places, nakatay yung mga remoto. Bakit? Sa kanila ba yan? Sa Pilipino yan eh. Hindi nila pwedeng ariin yan, di ba? Hindi bawal maglagay ng remoto. Doon na lang sa simbahan nila, huwag na sa mga public places, di ba? We have freedom of religion. You know, in the Philippines, we have freedom of religions. We have freedom of expressions. But the Bible says that all are, are beneficial. Not all are, are beneficial for all the Filipino people. If the religions want to put up graven images, they should, they should put up their graven images in their churches, not in the public places. May tao pa ako ba rito? Ganyan din eh. Kung gusto mong mag-borlis, sikinunan mo yung katawan mo, yung sarili mo ng video, isa nyo lang naman yun eh. Di ba? Eh gusto mong kunan eh, di ba? May tao pa rito. Oh. Ano, 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 ano problema mo? Eh baka yung kinunan niya eh, gusto mong makita. That's bad. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Ito yung natin ang pagbasa. Magpagwawa ka sa ako tayo. Ano, ano, ano na tayo? Mark chapter 5, verse uh, 30, 30 na tayo. At once Jesus realized that power had gone out from him, he turned around in the crowd and asked, Who touched my clothes? At once, Jesus realized that power had gone out from him. He turned around in the crowd and asked, Who touched my clothes? Eh, napakaraming tao, anong sabi niya, Who touched my clothes? At ang ibig sabihin, ay ganito. Sino ang nakakuha ng power sa akin? Hindi niya ba napapansin, Altar God, hindi lahat nabubuwal, di ba? Kasi yung iba, hindi naman talaga mabubuwal yan eh. Paano mabubuwal yan? Yung mga lumalami sa harapan talagang iyak ng iyak, di yung panilalapitan, nabubuwal na yan eh. Yes. 
At once, Jesus realized that power had gone out from him. He turned around in the crowd and asked, Who touched my clothes? Who touched my clothes? Nakikinig po ba tayo dito? Who touched my clothes? It means somebody get the power out from me. Ituloy natin ang pagbasa. You see the people crowding against you, his disciples answered, and yet you can ask, who touched me? But Jesus kept looking around to see who had done. Ituloy natin ang pagbasa. Then the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell at his feet and trembling with fear told him the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. Nakikinig pa po ba tayo? Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. Nakunawaan po ba natin? Who healed the daughter, the, the woman, her faith in Jesus? Nakunawaan ninyo ako? The woman received miracle from Jesus because of her faith in Jesus. Sa oras na ito, alam ko nangangailangan tayong lahat. Tama? All of us is in it. I know it's one of us. All of us is in it. What we need is to have faith in Jesus. In order for Jesus to move, in order to untie, to, to untie the hands of God, for Him to move and to act and to do miracles, is for us to have faith in Jesus. Nakikinig pa po ba tayo? Shall we bow our heads and close our eyes? Come on, everybody, bow our heads and close our eyes. Maging lahat ng mga nakikinig at nanonood. Those who are watching and listening out there, all of us, bow our heads and close our eyes. Come on, be honest to yourself. Be honest to yourself. Are you in need of healing? Are you in need of miracle? Are you in need of divine intervention? Do you have long standing prayers? Do you want your good dream to be fulfilled? Do you want the good desires of your heart to be fulfilled? Come on, be honest to yourself. Come on, talk to your God, talk to Jesus. He is a listening God. Come on. Come on, everybody bow down our heads and close our eyes. Talk to Jesus. Yes. Maybe you are not in suffering right now. But your friend is in suffering right now. Your loved ones is in suffering right now. Tell to Jesus. About your loved ones. About your friends. About your relatives. Tell him, tell Jesus for his divine intervention. Truly God is not limited by time, distance, and even space. Come on. Are you glad na narito? Nakikinig at nanonood. Talk to your God. Kung gusto mo umiyak, umiyak ka. Kung gusto mo matak na luwa sa iyong mga mata, ipatak mo. Huwag mong pigilan. Huwag mong itago, huwag mong pigilan. Magalit nyo sa kausap mo. Huwag ka nang magtago pa. Huwag ka nang magiging pa. Sabihin mo. Come on. If you are talking to God, don't hide anything. Reveal all your dreams and all your plans. Ipahayag mo lahat ng mga magagandang mabubuti mong pangarap. 
sabihin mo lahat. Yung kanta ka na na-invento ko, na-compose ko, ang sabi doon, kailan ka pinabayaan ng Diyos? Kailan ka niya iniwan? Kailan ka pinabayaan ng Diyos? Kailan ka niya hindi pinugunan? Di ba't ang Diyos ay laging mabuti, laging tapat, dan mamahal. Buhay nga niya'y inali niya sa Rosa Calvario para tayo lumaya sa ating kasalanan. Lahat ng tari ko, lahat ng nagiginigat ng ulo ko. Come on, just talk to your God. Sige po, huwag niyo ipigilan ang pagpatak ng luha sa inyong mga mata. At hindi lang basta-basta salita sa Panginoon, ha? Sabihin mo, gusto mo talaga na kagali lang, gusto mo talaga na lima na, sabihin mo talaga. Para yung sinabi ng babae, ako'y gagaling, mahawa ka mo lang yung laylayan ng damit ni Jesus. Don't just say, say with faith to Jesus. That you want to be healed, you want to be set free from your suffering, you want to be saved and to, to receive eternal life in heaven. Come on, say it with faith, like what the woman did. She said, If I just touch my clothes, or, or Jesus' clothes, I will be healed. And in fact, he just touched the heads, the hem of the garment of Jesus. Maging lahat ng mga nakikinig at nanonood. Come on. Sige, ibusin mo, isa-isahin mo. Enumerate one by one your good dreams, your good desires. Enumerate one by one to Jesus. Your prayers, your good requests. And believe that God is a savior. God is a healer. God is a miracle for us all. God all answers our prayers. Hallelujah. Maging lahat ng mga nakikinig at nanonood. Even you that are watching and listening out there. Tayong lahat ay tumayo sa ating mga paabil ng pag-aalan sa Diyos. Ang unang tingnan ka, lima ka ng libot at harapan para makakapag-concentrate ka ng lukos at hindi naman siya mahiya sa iyo. Can we stand to our feet to give reverence to the power of Holy Spirit? At habang tayong lahat ay nakayong matlang at bigit sabihin mo ito, Panginoong Yesus, ako'y nagkasala sa pagpa ako sa kalikyos na buhay sa bisyo. Pero ngayon, handa ng magbago buhay. Handa ng sumamba sa tunay na Diyos. Naiisap ko sa binubuo ng apaanak at matal na spirito. Patawad po, Panginoon. Bukas kayo ng aking puso. Ikaw na Jesus ang Diyos ko. Panginoon at kapagligtas. Simula po sa oras na ito. Mananang palataya ko sa iyo. Nang luwos. Sapagkat... Ikaw ay Diyos na kayang sumagot sa mga kalalari at gumawa ng mga dakilang alam. Italaan niyo po ang aking pangalan sa aklat ng buhay sa kalangita. Sa pagkasimula sa oras na ito, ako ay maglilipot sa iyo agar sa kulitinila ng aking buhay. I sense the power of the Holy Spirit this day. 
I sense the strong power of the Holy Spirit this day. Willing to touch you and to make you whole. As you open your heart to Jesus, accepting Him as your Lord God and Savior, repenting and renouncing from all your sins, Lord God and Savior. Not those gods of religions, but the one God composes of three divine person, persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God will truly move this day. As the oras na ito, kung paano ang babae ngayon ay lamabas ang power sa katawan ni Jesus at kung sumama sa Kanya, ganun din mararamdaman mo sa katawan mo ngayon ang power ng Diyos. You yourself will experience the power of God. As the woman felt the power of Jesus that come out from the body of Jesus, she will, you will also feel, feel the power of Jesus this day. So, Father, for your own glory alone, let your spirit flow, I pray, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. in you. Yes, Lord. We believe in you, Lord. We are the only one never fails. And the day is still Yes, Lord, we will. 
si Lenny Pinsa ni Mama Gay, ni Pastor Rage. Uh, taga Australia siya, pati yung anak niya. Kaya English speaking anak niya sa isa. So, hindi ko alam, hindi namin alam kung hanggang kailan siya rito sa Pilipinas. Pero babalik siya ulit ng Australia. This uh, mom and daughter came from Australia. He stayed with her for a short period of time for a vacation. But they will be back home again in Australia pretty soon. Wala tayo pa ipapabawat sa mag-ina higit sa lahat ang pag-ibig ng Diyos, ang kabutihan ng Diyos. So, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, Father, I pray that you touch this mom and daughter, Father God, with your love with your spirit. We know, Father God, we do, we do not know, Father God, their prayer requests. But you know their prayer requests, Father God. We do not know the good desires of their hearts, their good dreams, but you know them all, Father God. No one is hidden from you, Lord. So, Father, I and, I, and my family, and even this congregation, uniting in, in this prayer to grant, Father God, the good desires Wala po kami ipapabawal sa katilang pagbalik nila ng Australia. Hindi sila lang ang ipag-ibigan ng pagmamahal. Surround them with your glory, Father God. Let them be, be protected by your blood. Let their souls be saved, God, in Jesus' name. Let them know you more, Father God. Reveal yourself to them more and more in a deep way, in a biblical way. Let them know you by the God, not just by the teaching of religion.